if you're still lacking um, compost, here's a su sweet potato patch. Really easy to grow. This is a, a sweet potato. I started out with just a few pieces. What you do is you, when you buy sweet potatoes at the store, when you find some that you really like, they're like, oh, these are really tasty. Don't eat the whole thing. Don't cook the whole thing. Cut off the ends, you know, about that much from the end. Let it heal over so it's not, you know, it, it just like gets a little crust on that cut end and put it in the ground. Next thing you know, you'll have a plant coming out. And the beauty about these things is, wherever there's a leaf, there's a root ready to go. These, little, these are root nodules right here. So you can take this and just plant it. And now you've got an entirely new plant, which means after you harvest the first time, or while it's growing even, you just take pieces and you can either put it in water and let it root, or you can just stick it right in the ground. Now I just stick them in the ground. I don't even bother with water anymore. <laughs> and if you have mulch down, it stays wet enough. This thing will root. Next thing you know, you've got these things growing up. That's how I started all this. Is just from when I harvested the potatoes from over there and I wanted to switch them over to here. I just took the things that were left, cut them up into pieces, threw them on the ground, threw the chips on top, and then whichever ones took off, took off. And this eventually will, they'll just keep going, it's a vine, and it'll just cover the whole thing. The other thing about these, I mean sweet potatoes really are nutritious for you, but also a lot of people don't realize you eat the leaves. And they grow in the mid heat of the summer, so you can have salads in the summer without growing lettuce, because lettuce is pretty hard to grow here in the summertime, if not impossible. There's also ornamental sweet potatoes. They're, you'll see them in front of office buildings, things like that, some people's yards. They're very light colored green, big patch of it, or a purple one. Leaves are a little bit different, but they're also edible and they're very good. You put the three colors together, you've got a tricolor salad just like that. Boom. And the plant will keep growing. Yes? Did you say that sweet potatoes and nuts are just growing sand? You don't have to do too much soil preparation? Yeah, this is, this, here, this is just sand. I mean, look, okay. that's, that's what I call junk. <laughs> but they don't care. They like it. So if you do fertilize it too much, or hardly at all really, what it'll do is it'll create a lot of leaf because nitrogen goes to leaves. The potassium goes to either the roots or the blossoms and the, the phosphorus goes to either the roots or the blossoms the other way and the fruit. So, you know, each thing does its own thing. So these don't want Oh, they'll take the nitrogen, but they'll create a lot of leaf. They'll have a beautiful looking vine, but you won't get many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs>